guys, Wild Survivalist here, and today we are going to be going through my emergency survival kit. Um, so, right now, um, that's the bag that I'm putting, um, mainly this, like, here. I'll try and give you, like, an overhead view. So, like, that... That, that, the poncho right there, that stuff, that stuff, that, all this stuff, except for that and that bag right there, are going to be going in this. Um, those two, which, there's actually like a, a few, um, trash bags, um, wrapped in there, and then that, are gonna go in that bag right there, so... Right now, we're going to be going through the contents of this, and then I'll go through the contents of that bag um, in a few minutes, okay? So, we're going to start over here. Um, what we have here is stuff for making fires. The, these are like little um, like gardening sticks that are for gardening. But the reason why I have them in here is because they have nitro in them. So, and I know that nitro is flammable, so I'm having these in here. Um, this is broken pieces of a ruler in case I need something that is hard. And then this is... This is flint and steel. Okay. So, I'm going to be using that a lot. Um, next, up here, we have stuff for trapping and tracking. Um, what this is, is their bacon, jelly, their bacon jelly beans um, for catching like small, small predators like weasels and all that. And then, this is a mammal tracking. Um, for Western America, so this is this section right here is for trapping and tracking. Um, on to the next part. This is just a headlamp um, for a source of light, mainly. Um, up next, we have cutlery, and this right here is my sharpening stone. Um, this is a um, actually a brand new knife that I got recently. It's nylon cordage with a 440 stainless steel 3 inch blade. The knife's, like the total length of the knife is 7 inches. It comes with a sheath and a little stick of flint. Right here. It's hard to do this with one hand. But it comes with a little stick of flint. So, yeah, that's going to be useful. This right here, like this entire right knife rig here, covers three of the five C's that I know about. Um, actually, I know all of them. Cover, cordage, um... Cutlery, um, combustion, the last one I actually forgot, I, I do know all five of them, just right at the top of my head, I, it, I don't know the f fifth one right at the top of my head, but this entire knife rig right here covers three of the five C's, it covers combustion, cutlery, and cordage. So, and then this is, these are my multi-tools. Um, this one has a flashlight and a saw, a bottle opener, a screwdriver, and a flathead. Um, this has a knife, a spoon, a fork, an owl, a bottle slash can opener, and a corkscrew. So, and this is just for sharpening my knives. 
Um, I've been using that a lot, actually. Um, on to the next thing. This is, like, the information, like, trees. Um, this, this book would be good for, like, me knowing, like, what trees have edible fruits and all that, like, chestnuts and, um, and all that kind of stuff. So, and then this is just a bag of paper in case I need to write things down that would help me in the future. And this has like, um, guides, it has like a guide to using, um, like, to, it has a guide to a few knots. Um, it tells you how to, like, um, how fusing works, how to coil, um, square lashing, all that. It also tells you, um, animal tracking. And, like, right here, it has a little thing for, like, animal tracks. It shows you how, um, like, navigation, how to make your own compass. Um, it has this little challenge of, like, measuring heights and then just a measuring challenge, um, compass game challenge. So, this would really help with information that would help me survive. So that will help a lot. Um, this little thing right here kind of goes into the navigation category um, also. So uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But on to the next part, we have um, signaling. So this is obviously safety orange. It has a safety whistle on it. Um, it has a this also this thing kind of goes in like all categories where cordage wise except for the fact that it doesn't go into cutting tools but it does go into a lot of the categories except for that one also um which is cooking and stuff but we'll get to that in a minute so this actually covers cordage um navigation fire starting in the fact in the sense that it has this little flint rod on the side of it and that it can hold hang on in the sense that it can hold matches inside so inside there it will hold matches also it has a signal mirror here I don't know if you can see that or not but it's kinda like flashing along my shirt right there so, that kind of goes into all categories, including cordage, but mainly I'm putting it into the signaling category for the whistle and the, um, the signaling mirror. I also have another mirror that is good for signaling also. Hang on. So right there, um, but yeah, so, and that came off of a phone case, but that doesn't really matter right now. On to the next category, um, we have navigation, so I have a, a wrist, a uh, compass that goes on my wrist, I have an old type compass, I actually got this from my dad, so it's really cool, I'm trying to open it right now, but. It's kind of hard to, but, yeah, so it's like an old style compass, so, right now it's pointing north, so that, that way is east, behind me is west, to the right is south, and to the left is north, um, and then here we have a bag that has two maps of Wyoming, um, the state that I'll live in, so that will come in handy, and they're in a bag so that they don't get wet. Um, um, Alright, on to the next category. This, I have to hurry because I only have um about six minutes left, but this is cordage category, just a bunch of paracord, and then some ribbons, 
so that I can like um make paths or whatever. This is cooking. Really all it contains is this thing full of like condiments and all that. Um it has three um forms of like boiling water. It has a can and a stainless steel cup and then there's this big pot that I have which has um like a ladle, it has a spatula and it has um and it has a bowl and cutting boards but we'll get to that I'll get to that in another video of like like I'll do individual videos for like each thing so and then here we have food I have two um two freeze dried meals and then under here I have freeze dried ice cream sandwich over here so this is like the freeze dried foods um we have some uh oatmeal right like these little packets are water purification tablets um i have a few forks and spoons um i have some tea somewhere in here but i have um i'm pretty sure i have tea in here i have like juice stuff and all that um and then here this little thing i have coffee in here um this is to like um, this is just, um, those, ma those foil cupcake things, and then this is for making coffee with, these are coffee filters, well, they're not really coffee filters, but, you know, you get the point, but, um, on to the next category, we have, um, this is my, this is all medical supplies, it has painkillers, it has, a med kit in it it has like all that stuff so this is mainly for m medical situations and then this category over here is cover we have poncho um a hanky handkerchief whatever um this i th i'm pretty sure that this coat is made out of wool um, it's actually like a really big coat, so, um, as you might have seen in my first video, but this is a really big coat that I'm going to use, and I'm pretty sure it's made out of wool, so, and then we have a bunch of trash bags, um, that will be good for cover, so, that's about all the time I have for today, guys, so, um, Stay tuned for, like, covering over, um, mainly the cooking wear and, um, the medical kit, but, um, stay tuned for another video coming soon. Um, stay safe, guys, and, um, take this info as, like, a guide. I know it's kind of a little messy, but... Um, I just got a few things that I found useful or that were around my house, so stay safe guys, and I will see you all later.